Well hey guys and welcome back to the Triumph GT6 Mark 1 project and today I'm going to be having a go at trying to revive this cylinder head. Okay so looking at this cylinder head well I've actually got no problems with trying to revive this cylinder head whatsoever without sending it off to a machine shop and the reason I say that is because the compression between all of the cylinders was even even though it was low compression it was just even across the whole lot. Now something I did do when I had this cylinder head on the car was I actually tapped down on all the valves and what I found was that the compression went up on all of the cylinders and that's why I've got no problem whatsoever trying to revive the cylinder head but then after turning over the engine a few times the compression would then go back down to that low compression where it was and this is what makes me believe that the problem is a valve seating problem and nothing else other than that and this does make sense because on number three cylinder it was the only exception to the rule of it being all low and even number three cylinder was really high and good compression and my theory behind that being high and good compression is quite simple is that the last time this engine stopped on number three the piston must have either been on the compression stroke or just about on the power stroke so the valves would have been shut and there's no way air and corrosion and water from the elements can get in to two valves that are shut because they just can't get between the valve seat whatsoever so obviously the next time we've gone to start up this engine which would have been myself trying to start it these valve seats would have been clean and the valves would be seated nicely and the engine turning over giving us good compression on number three and you can see that in number three because it's all clean there's no corrosion whatsoever around here whereas the rest of the cylinders are somewhat corroded number six is highly corroded but fortunately I've had a go around here with a bit of a scraper trying to get rid of some of this corrosion and the corrosion has not eaten into the casting so again I've no worry about that now number six is highly corroded and I believe this to be the case because when I tried to get in the six cylinder spark plug I actually had to re-tap this spark plug so I believe when this engine was last laid up five out of six spark plugs were in place but I can't remember because last time I looked at this cylinder head was two years ago so I'd have to retrace my videos and maybe some photographs of this car when we last had the engine when we last looked at it but as I said number six cylinder had to re-tap the spark plug hole and I believe water has got inside here and it's just corroded around the top of the uh, cylinder head here just where it sits it was okay down the actual cylinder liner so no worries about that I think we can just clean this up and get away with it so what we're going to do today is we're going to take out all the valves and then we're going to clean them all up and then we're going to put them back in relap them and hopefully we should have one good revived cylinder head. So let's crack on with it. Let's get the valves out.
Well, there we are, one stripped cylinder head. And that's it down to its raw casting, or almost. And yeah, you know, you can see the corrosion build up inside on the valve seats there and why it wasn't sitting right. But if we just take out a random valve here, well, this is number six, so it would be one of the worser ones. Just look at all that corrosion build up. We're going to clean all that off and reseat the valve. Take out another one. There's number two. As you can see, the same again. Just absolute corrosion and carbon build up. So I wonder why it wasn't sitting right. And as for the face of the cylinder head, what we're going to do is just go over it nice and lightly with a scraper. We don't want to dig into this surface because this is a machine surface, so we've got to be ever so careful how we scrape away all the grime and crud that's built up on the top here. Just going at it very gently and very slowly and very carefully, just taking all that crud off. And same inside here, where the valves sit and the compression and all the magic happens. Just got to be very careful how we take that crud off and it seems to be coming up quite well and I'll do the same inside these little water jackets here and all the oil jackets just clean them out best I can with a old screwdriver just getting rid of all the crud because if these aren't cleaned out what can happen is you are restricting flow of the oil and water around the cylinder head now it's a water cooled engine it needs to have water cooling it at a decent rate. If you've got like clogged arteries, your blood system isn't going to go around as effectively as what it should do. So they've all got to be nice and clean. So yeah, let's get this all nicely cleaned up. Right, well that's the cylinder head nicely cleaned up, or as good as it's going to get. So the next step is to clean up the valves. So we'll do these one at a time, just sticking them in a drill, and just using a bit of light emery cloth just to clean up all the crud off the back and off the face. So that's all the valves cleaned up, but in reality, these valves are actually worn. They're quite badly worn out. They've got quite a bad lip on them, as you can see. So, realistically, this cylinder head is still good visually, but it could do with the new set of valves in it. But for the time being, what I'm gonna do is try and lap in these old valves 
and uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, it will work because realistically, all we want to do is try and get this car to start up, and the cost of doing a cylinder head gasket is minimal compared to sending off a head for re skimming and new valves. So, let's get these valves lapped in and back in place. So there you go, that's the valves reseated in the cylinder head of the GT6's engine and well they did polish up quite well so hopefully that should up the compression in the engine but it's like anything really this cylinder head does need going over professionally with new valves and reworking and converted to unleaded but that's up to Danny to decide when he wants that doing. For the time being it is literally just about trying to get this car to go. So hopefully we'll get the cylinder head on the car for the next episode and fingers crossed we'll try and get the car started up. But for the time being guys, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.